first one out uh, indecision so uh, there could be a choice that you're needing to decide on maybe you're having a hard time making this choice you feel like you're um, standing still perhaps in a place where you can't make a choice um, is it by circumstance or just you just don't know what to do um, whatever this is it's pretty much telling you to pull back a little bit look at the big picture and make a choice don't stay stagnant in something maybe you need to end something and you just you know it in your pit of your gut and you're not taking that action so it keeps you somewhat um in that holding pattern of indecision okay so for whatever that is it could be love it could be family could be business whatever that is i do see you coming out of it uh with the victory that came out next so some sort of um success something that gives you maybe recognition in something or um, just a sign that it's really telling you you're going in the right direction. Don't feel like you're blocked or you can't change something because you definitely do hold that power to change things. But you have to decide. You can't be sort of staying still. Um, you have the blossoming abundance. So there is abundance uh, blossoming. Maybe you don't see it yet in a situation. Um, this is telling you that you are headed down the right direction with this It's very much of balancing and really having harmony around you that sense of peace This is also could be the things that you've been waiting uh, for to manifest or you're waiting to sort of um, you know get an answer or um, It's dealing with money. I definitely do feel it's dealing with money uh, for some of you, maybe it's health, okay? Abundance, is, it could be so different for different people, but it's almost as if you got to just keep going. Um, and then you have the patience. So that says it a lot because the anxiety came out as well. So are you, are you in a holding pattern where you feel like you want to go towards something, but something hasn't sort of given you that answer or you're sitting on the sideline waiting to go? Um, and so maybe you're causing some kind of anxiety within yourself okay um i do feel like in this card right here it's it's like something is passing you're, you're getting past something so hang tight on that and really having patience with yourself uh with others and knowing that the um things are going to happen in divine timing for you with that patience right there okay so maybe this is some kind of anxiousness because you do want to make that choice to go towards something different but maybe you just feel like you're you're you have to wait for something okay um let's see the top of the deck okay so door to value so something to do with abundance something to do with the flow of money uh better better um like having better luck um money just sort of coming in okay so that's where you're headed and so maybe you're in this holding pattern and you're getting anxious about it is what it feels like but remember you have the victory there and it's telling you to be patient um and then you have the temple path so um the temple path is beautiful because it is about maintaining peace and harmony within yourself so that you can get to where you want to go okay um it really does signify having messages for you, uh, whether they come through you telepathically, um, maybe seeing a certain animal or some birds or um, something like that. Like you're not alone is pretty much what I'm trying to tell you. You're being moved in the right direction with that, that uh, the temple path. OK, so take it as it resonates for you today. So welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I always appreciate you guys leaving comments and liking and sharing and all that good stuff. Um, I'm choking on my my uh, sage, <laughs> so I had to take a deep breath there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I want to know what is the indecision? Indecision, please. The indecision. What is this? card eight please card eight i do feel you have this this sort of energy where you want to go towards something is something holding you back um maybe uncertainty or um 
have you not felt this sort of new passion that's sort of guiding you uh, to go forward with something, okay? Have you been waiting for an offer to be able to go, you know? Um, let's see, you got the Ten of Swords, so really feeling stuck and stagnant. Um, what is the Ten of Swords of? It's in your mind. Are you scared to go down a new path um, that's really calling you with a lot of passion? Um, it's almost like your mind is trying to play tricks on you and not allowing you <clears throat> to feel this passion that's sort of sort of pulling you. Um, let's see here. So you have the Emperor really coming into your own kind of energy as far as taking control, being stable, um, really opening up as far as spiritually and having knowledge. Um, and you got the Eight of Wands. So I feel like um, this is somebody who's in a transition. Um, and I do feel you've been sort of stuck in that situation for a long time. Um, but I do feel a relief is coming. And at this moment, you might be getting anxious because maybe you haven't um, taken leadership or taking that, that initial step to get you out of something that you've been stuck in for a long time. Um, the Ten of Swords is the, a 10, so that means it's going to be ending. And so all the things that you have sort of drawn to yourself that have caused betrayal, sadness, uh, discomfort, um, almost where you lost the, the sense of trust in others or in the situation, it feels like. So I do feel that is coming to an end and you are going to be able to take power and control of a situation. What is the Emperor? What is the Emperor? Um, maybe this is where you're holding for a situation to end so you can go. You have the Five of Cups, so getting over regrets. Maybe this is that transfer transformation for somebody that has to maybe have a little bit of forgiveness for themselves or for others. You got the Eight of Pentacles, the, the Eight, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen nine of pentacles and boy all these pentacles and the five of pentacles so i feel you feel at loss really whatever this is did you have a bad business deal did you lose your money um maybe you you might have even taken uh unfairly from others is what i see here with the five five of cups um if that is the case then this is something that you have to surrender to to allow yourself to grow in your core and do things something uh, do things in a different way you know um i do feel like if you're at a loss for somebody or a situation or money it's almost as if this sort of new gift is going to come for you okay um i feel the financial crunch here really there's a lot of pentacles right there so Either you have to go down and find a new direction as far as making your own money or um, taking leadership as far as maybe starting your own job or um, maybe even breaking free from a, a, a relationship or a business that isn't really quite um, giving you enough like as far as payment or stealing from you or taking from you something like that um let's see here i just want to know what is what is the eight of wands so something's gonna sort of from a place where you're just stuck there's something gonna move you okay um maybe it is like something to do with um you're waiting for your money to come in you know if you're in a case or some kind of battle over your money there will be success there with the nine of pentacles so just really hang tight and maybe you're just having to look at things different you got the fool so see i do feel the eight of wands is going to give you that drive or that energy that is needed to get yourself out of a rut um and maybe you're kicking yourself uh because you made a bad decision when it comes to finances or you gave control to someone else to your of your money and it, it just sort of went downward okay so let's see what is the victory here what is the victory could be money could be love you have to take it as it resonates but pentacles are really their money okay 
um victory what is the victory here did you stay in a situation because of money and you lost out on a better opportunity now you see the opportunity is better um you have the the temperance so having patience um you know not beating yourself up for making mistakes really because uh, you could have made mistakes in the past and you just sort of been dragging your feet to change it um i do feel the temperance is really that energy of forgiveness that energy telling you things are going to change in divine timing uh also spirituality and having moderation in your life maybe you were an overspender or this could be somebody for you that just dealt a lot with money and maybe put money as a priority versus themselves okay um but i feel this is healing whoever this is you're in on, on your way to really heal okay uh the temperance and the victory please so maybe you're waiting for some word or something see so this is definitely what i felt the knight of pentacles you've made mistakes maybe it's caused you a lot of heartbreak maybe you broke a lot of hearts maybe this is a third party situation i'm saying maybe because it could be different for other people um you got the nine of swords with the the knight of pentacles so there are changes you are in you are in a transition um and so i definitely do feel you don't need to worry because something tangible is coming to you some offer that you can you can see it you can touch it you can feel it it's coming for you with the knight of pentacles but it's taking you down this sort of path of maybe learning some hard lessons is what i see here but what has happened in the past is not going to continue in the present and in the future if that makes sense okay so you don't need to worry about it um what is the blossoming abundance blossoming abundance we're getting to this place where i see there's just gonna be less poverty and just definitely that sense of abundance okay so you got the world that's a good sign that's a good indication that chapters are ending uh we're we're going to this place of where there is a lot of abundance and um new new opportunity um let's see what is the world maybe travel uh, get out of the, the the situations that make you bored or unhappy it's almost like as if I, if I see somebody who is going to work and you hate that job and you have to keep doing it but you have to do it of course because you need money I feel like there is a transition from being stuck in something and being bored in something you're going to be able to get out of it and so these are things that are still maybe hidden or mysterious uh, but it's telling you to be patient and really open up. Perhaps you need to study something um, with the world, the Four of Cups, and the High Priestess. Maybe there there takes there needs some kind of um, energy from you as far as learning something or opening up to something so that you don't make the same mistake again. Okay, but something mysterious is going to happen that's going to break you free from this Ten of Swords and this Nine of Swords energy with the Five of Cups. Okay um what is the high priestess i want to know what is the high priestess please the high priestess so the chariot and the ace of wands so being patient you know letting go of your maybe things that just didn't work out for you with the five of cups you know uh the past issues this is really learning to balance so maybe you are in this state of maybe researching more and trying to figure out how to balance yourself you know balancing the good and the evil you know just sort of doing the right thing versus the wrong thing and you might be hung up on all the things that you did in the past i don't know if it has to do with being like a player or you know it could be male or female where you know you might have just played the field um a lot with different different diff different people or maybe this is something related with money okay um there is something good coming in with the ace of wands and the chariot so mysteriously i think these things are just going to sort of unfold for you and the patience please card 16 um spirituality having spirituality sitting down meditating manifesting what it is you want um knowing that you're doing what you're supposed to be and you're being divinely guided okay um that's okay so then you have the magician and that's where you get the new beginning that's where you start to unfold 
things for yourself in a better manner um really learning that you're magical and you can sort of manifest things for yourself and put yourself in a new direction um the magician please what is the magician so be patient with yourself especially if you're going down a new path try not to worry about the past okay your past mistakes um let's see here so you got the king of cups and the Six of Swords. So this is definitely a person that's going more towards being open spiritually, um, having more love for thyself, for others, in that sense that you can sort of accept love and maybe this is an intuition opening up for you. With the Six of Swords, you're leaving some kind of battle, some kind of difficulty. And of course, we saw the Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups right here. And a lot of worry, a lot of anxiousness. Um, I do feel like things will get better for you. And whoever this is, you have the power to rewrite your future is what it feels like. Okay. Um, give me one more. One more. <clears throat> yeah, don't look back. With the Six of Swords, you've had enough. Like, go forward. Okay. Um, and then the Empress. So is this what you're going forward to? This is an abundance. Is this a person? Is this just the state of mind that, you, you know, you can you're not alone um you have the power to manifest um there's great abundance for you maybe fertility maybe you're going towards being mother and father for some of you you know like parenthood um and then this one as well so see maybe it is family um if you're worried about conceiving i just sort of got that in my mind that you're you will be um able to conceive and start a family um and maybe this is sort of anxious for you because it's it's a new relationship maybe for some of you okay i don't know let's see um i want to know how does this story end how does this story end so the hermit really soul really diving deep in your soul uh, shedding your skin being really recognizing that there are symbols and signs being given to you um from spirit okay um, and the Queen of Swords, so that moves you into some kind of action of clarity, a new beginning, uh, really just knowing where you're going. Um, really, like, no one can sort of stop you, okay? Um, a lot of truth is what I feel from that one. What else, please? Uh, so the Fool, whatever this is for you, you're going to be able to take that, that plunge. You're going to start it out, okay? Uh, whether it is a business or relationship or just some healthy transformation you got the the <clears throat> ten of cups the tower and the ace of wands so the tower is really representing letting go of all the false things that you know maybe it has to do with family or you know the the loss that you've you've had as far as money um i do see that changing quickly for you and becoming this sort of gift especially you got the ace of wands twice out here so I do feel this is giving you the opportunity to grow okay so very nice really so don't lose hope <clears throat> what is the karmic cycle here please what can you show me as far as this karmic cycle so you have cool calm and collected achievement and success okay uh, stay calm yeah definitely and then intuitive understanding and, and that's what I got with the king of cups and the high priestess so opening up okay instead of being blocked and stuck you know you have clarity coming in financial matters um, I definitely feel that crunch for a lot of people finances okay I get it intellectual matters so definitely moving more towards the mature um like understanding things maturity okay and craftsmanship so maybe learning to have a new skill or to go towards maybe creating the job that you want or something like that okay mm. let's see here <clears throat> Okay, what is the insight here, please? What is the insight? It is this one. Okay, so it says, you are worthy. There may be voices that try to tell you otherwise. Don't believe them. The past may have told you that you aren't 
but leave all that in the past and embody your worthiness now and see this is somebody who's struggling with the past things whether they were um, something that manipulated you or someone manipulated okay either you manipulated people or they manipulated you so you'd have to figure that out but there's that sense of knowing your worth there okay um let's see what is the daily affirmation here it is this one so okay today i am free of drama today i will let go of the people that do not support me and only surround myself with positive people and that is going to be the big change okay because you're going to go towards truth and love and a better foundation right here very nice um <clears throat> so let's see what is the message that pertains to this reading what is the message that pertains to this reading please that one okay and then these two okay so the first one out is a cat so um apathetic disinterested aloof my way or the highway board see that's what i got with the four of cups um just sort of uh not really happy i know you know um, and then whatever this is, the answer is yes. The situation or event is right on track at this time. So very nice. Um, and then the universe. So source, infinite, um, unending, enduring, internal, creation, awakening, mass awakening, guys. Mass awakening is what's going to make the difference here. Um, and then the hammock. So just relax. Take the time off. Uh, sleep, support. Um recovery find relief and then the yarn hassles problems big mess interconnected complicated patience needed future gains work it out see so just be patient i do feel like that is the message here today be patient with yourself and others um what is the angel message here please what is the angel message here please Okay, you have Astra, and you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires, and don't compromise. That is so true. Okay, and then uh, what is the abundance message here, please? The abundance message. What is the abundance message? Okay, so okay. we'll take that one. Can you give me another one? Okay, and this one here. So it says liberation the doubts and the fears still come up for, come up you don't believe anymore that they're yours okay so let go of those things okay and then the companionship so giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift so i feel like that's where for some of you you're going to have a second chance to do that to give a companionship okay or maybe you're attracting companionship what is the mermaid the message here please <clears throat> what is the mermaid message here okay so you have the miracles so miracles do happen and dive deep i feel like some of you still need to learn there's something you're supposed to open up about um so let's see let's do this one right here uh i want to know what can you show me as far as love and romance what's coming in for the viewer please this one what's coming in for the viewer please love and romance that one. Oh wow very nice oh my goodness so um worth waiting for divine timing is is at work in your love life right okay new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is a soulmate. So yes, this is your soulmate. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. Um, so let go of those addictions so that it can get better. Okay um maybe that's why you're stagnant maybe that's why you're stuck because you're not letting go of those things so take that as it resonates i think there's a different answers in there for different people um let's close it off with a soul message what is the soul message please 
What is this soul message here? So, what else could this mean? There's always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limited beliefs. Look at the situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? So today's soul action, is there something in your soul uh, that is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in another person's shoes and see it from another perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? So very interesting. I do feel like that ties in with the reading. So there you go. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me your comments. I'll see you guys have a day. Uh